dropped our stuff at, a, at the hotel. Uh, and the worst possible thing can happen. Rolled the truck. We were told to look for a bass pond that's down here somewhere. Uh, local happened to drive by at the exact moment in time that this happened. He's able to. He, he's helping us out, calling, calling help for us, and uh, we're we're gonna see what happens next. I'll keep you guys updated. So. Here's your other shoe. The 
looks fine-ish. Front end and... Well, the engine's flooded. No, it has water in it. The engine, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's flooded. Yeah, it's done. It's done, yeah. <laughs> Salvage. Yeah, it costs you more to get the motor current and the insurance to cover it. Yeah. A lot of it can be salvaged. <laughs> It's a lease. Really, you guys are leasing it. But... Ready, one, two, three. Ah. Walking down river now for some lost items. Just found my car heart. Absolutely full of water. Things like 50 pounds. All right, let's see what else we can find. Well, I've walked about a mile down this river. Uh, <clears throat> all I have to, all I found was a plier pouch with no pliers and my Carhartt jacket, uh, which is about half a mile away. I left it there since it was like 50 pounds. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know if the truck's going to salvage yard. It's basic. It's 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 totaled. There's there's nothing we can do about this. Um, I'm just my, my I sorry guys. I I don't know what I'm saying at this point. All I have to say is like, I'm really glad everyone's okay. I don't, I mean, I have a couple scratches on me, but I'm pretty sure that's from getting out of the car, not from actually flipping over, but I can't, I can't even describe what's going on in my mind right now. Like we, we, we like we, we could have died. Like I don't, this was almost really, really bad and I mean, we've, we, we're, we're just, we're just lucky that everyone is totally fine. Um, we have a lot of stuff in the truck. Uh, we lost a lot of stuff that was in the truck. We had to pull a lot of stuff out of the river. And, um, it, it I mean, it is what it is. We, we lost, there's nothing we can do at this point. Um, besides hoping, pray for what's going on. Um, so that's, that's what's, that's what's going on with my life right now. Um, my birthday's tomorrow, so, you know, I'll definitely be drinking up to forget about what's going on. Uh, sorry guys, I I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm just saying what's what's on my on my my mind right now. Uh, I, I I'm I'm still in shock. I don't I don't know what to I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just gonna end the video. I'll I'll check in with you guys later. You guys need anything else? No, I think we're good. Right. Cool if I get you in the video. <laughs> you guys have a good one, alright? Thank you. Thank you for your help. All I right. appreciate it. See you guys. Good luck. Thank you. Right. Thank you for your help. Take care. Thank you. 
So we are finally back home. After that all happened, we obviously, as you saw at the end, we got dropped off by the cops at our hotel room. Um, the next day, my mom and my sister came out to um, Bishop to come rescue us and drove us all the way back to Lake Isabella. When we finished off the last couple days uh, and, and the rest of the trip there at Lake Isabella. And we're finally home. But, wow. I, I didn't... Never in my life did I think I would be first-hand experiencing something like that. I just... And, and, and it's like, I still, still can't believe that happened. Like, it still doesn't feel like that happened. I know, obviously, I know it happened. But I'm just saying, like, it just doesn't feel real. I just don't... I can't, I can't believe what happened I and, and this whole this whole weekend was so just just so eventful um I I, I can't believe I, I'm still kind of shook up like I still don't really know what words to say but you know like for as bad as that could have gone like we went through the ba best case scenario of uh of like how bad that could have ended up I mean we we literally almost died. I, I, any of us could have lost our lives in that situation, and and for all for all of us to be able to just walk away from it, like nothing happened, like that's, it's pretty incredible. And um, I, I I I just I just don't know what to say. But, um, stay looking forward to the uh, fishing from this trip. Obviously, there was no fishing in this, but um, th this this whole video was more more so to the fact of uh, insurance sake because we d we don't we didn't have any of our, f of our phones. My dad's phone was uh, was lost in the truck at the time. Matt's and Buck's phone was completely dead. Uh, my phone was the only one that was in hand throughout the whole process but it only had two percent and we had to save that percentage percent life to keep in contact with everyone's family while that was all going on so I had to luckily I had my GoPro and I was able to document everything um, via via filming on my GoPro and wh whether you enjoyed I don't care if you enjoyed this video I um, I I, I, I don't know I'm just I, I'm just glad everyone's okay and uh, that's that's all I got to say um, see you all next time.